Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel here with Monique. So it's New Year's Eve. Uh, we are a couple hours from New Year's 2019. Normally with new beers, we make a full review and I edit it and chop it up. You know, put into segments of, you know, the recipe and first taste and add a ball and all that stuff. Um, not going to do it this time, even though we have a brand new beer that we may never have again, just because we're trying something new here. Okay, so what we have, this surprises a little bit. A quick background, we were at the bottle shop here probably two weeks ago, picking up a variety of beers, picked up a bunch of German, a couple of Belgian beers, and we wanted to pick up a celebration beer for New Year's. So we found a bottle here that, oddly enough, was under the Belgian label. Well, we went and bought it, um, and uh, not too, not too pricey. I just looked it up tonight. It's actually from the Netherlands. Why was it under Belgium? So the label, everything looks, and the name looks Belgian, but it's actually in the Netherlands. That, what's up with that? Okay, I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna say it like it looks. La Trap, I guess. Trappist beer, so it's made in a monastery. It's a quadruple, which which is 10% alcohol generally, and it's a Belgian style beer brewed in the Netherlands. Okay. Here's what she looks like. This beautiful thing. I like the label. It's pretty cool. Simple, but most Belgian labels are pretty simple, except this is a Belgian. As you can tell, it's corked and caged right there. Okay. This is brewed all year round. I have seen it before, we just never bought it. The ball costs us $12, which, you know, for new poured beer, for quad, all that, that's not terrible. For New Year's Eve. Yeah, especially for New Year's Eve, or for New Year's, right? That's, I mean, you know, you're gonna have a little fun. And, you know, I know some people do champagne, you know, shake up the bottle, boom, all that. Um, this, for us, is equivalent to an expensive bottle of champagne because we love German and Belgian beers. So this is our champagne. So hopefully it's good. I don't know anything about the brewery, really, but I'm not going to bother detailing that. It doesn't really matter. But here's a quick rundown of what's on their website. I did want to talk about that. Uh, this beer's been around since apparently 1991. It talks about the Kingshoven Brewery baptized blood quadruple under the name. It's brewed by monks, hence it's a Trappist Brewery. Uh, they won't detail the recipe. Color is amber. Aroma hints of clove and nuts. Balance with sweet aroma of vanilla, raisins, and banana. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Oh, uh, this is the heaviest of all their ales and is a eponym, eponym, whatever, of the style. Warming and intensive taste. Malty with sweet tones of date and caramel. Smooth and light bitter aftertaste. I just read it real briefly there. Um, here's what they tell about the ingredients. Water, barley, which is Munich, pale, caramel and roast, glucose syrup, hops and yeast. 36 on the color scale means it's pretty damn dark. 22 ABU, nothing. It'll last year half the bottle and available in six packs and bottles and all stuff. So there's there's a quick overview of uh, the ingredients. I'm not going to bother detailing all the flavors to expect, which I normally do because we're just going to make this and post it. And Some it's, different. And it's 10%. Yes, this is 10% alcohol. So it's a quad, like I said, that's a quad is usually at least 10% of same as high as 15% actually, which is not common. Okay, so not a new release, been around a long time from Netherlands of all places. There's not a lot on the back here. Um, I'll read a quick story. Le Trap quad Quadruple with a stained amber color has a deep yet mild flavor, multi sweet, pleasantly bitter. Brewed water from one spring. This ale has been brewed by the Koningshoven, I guess, brewery from the, I can't quite read that, Abbey of another word I can't re read. It's it's the name of the people that own it. Since 1884, the unique ales are created with patience, love, passion, and craftsmanship under strict recipes of Trappist monks. That top section right there is what I was reading. I 
grazed over it, but that's what I was reading. And that's really about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this corked and cage bottle. Pretty excited about this. Hopefully it won't explode on me. I really hope it doesn't. I love cage beers. Generally when we say Cajun cork, that just means like fine wine to us. Anybody can do it, but only the best usually get it. I have not been disappointed with one until now, or to this okay, point. Okay, so we are a little over an hour from the ball dropping where we live. Um, so we are just shy of an hour from 2019, but we're going to party a little bit early here. Pacific time. Yeah, I think that I think they can't figure that out. Okay, let's now nah, it should explode. I don't know. It's not gonna there, there we go. I've only had two ever explode. Well, let's, that holy girl always does. Okay, Boy. so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. We don't have all the right types of glass, but we're doing the best we can. So here we go. Oh, look at that color. Oh, it's Hold that for just a minute. Okay. Or two of them. You want to switch? Yes. I don't care which glass I get as long as I, I get one. You have it? Okay. Yep. All right. Let's switch. Let's smell it real quick. Oh. Oh, deep fruit. Oh, mm hmm Raisin, fig, <clears throat> caramel, some maybe cocoa. Just a moment here. Go ahead, continue. I, I smell some water. more of dates than I do raisins. The candy part of dates. Need some water there. Oh, boy. This is just amazing. It's very rich, very malty. Those dark fruits, cooked sugars and candies are so pleasant on the nose, the aroma. They're not strong and powerful, but they're very present. They really show themselves. Okay, you ready for a sip? Oh, guess I missed that. Oh, whoa, this is good. Oh, this is good. This makes me think of the uh, St. Fulian Special, the, the Holy Gr Oh, hmm. Rich, full body, explodes in the mouth. It's like I took samples of uh, cocoa and, and, and raisin, fig, and date, and cherry, and all this stuff. Not big bites, just nibbles. It's all in my mouth, it's just a, it's covering it. It's a potpourri it. of dark fruits oh, in there. Oh my lord, you this is good. You can't narrow it down on one taste. The bottle said bitterness to it. I don't even experience that. Uh-uh. Oh. It's like somebody took a paintbrush of all those flavors and it's going back and forth everywhere in my mouth. It's just coated in that flavor. Oh boy. A definitely a New Year's Eve. Look and at that color some. too. This is a rich medium amber color. It's cloudy. Mm, yes. It's cloudy but that's yep. okay. But there's no fluid sediment anything in it. This is a light color for a quad but that's still okay. It's not as dark as I thought it'd be. But if you give me quad I wouldn't want any lighter than this but that's a nice color. For a dark quad. Mm. What you smell in the glass is not what you taste. It's not? I mean, I mean to me it is. Okay. It smells good smelling it, but mm. when you taste it, it's a totally different experience. It's what I meant. And this is a sipper. You're not slamming this. You're mm. not just, mm. you know, open you know, down the hatch. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. It's so rich and nice. Very. Very rich, so malty, so pleasing, and yeah, those date, fig, plum, raisin, oh, the flavors just coat my mouth and they stick around and tease me and please me. Take notes here, by the way. They're, so, they're amazing. 
and it does have Belgian characteristic to it, even though it's brewed in the Netherlands. It tastes like a Belgian beer. Now, it being at 10%, it, the alcohol is well balanced with the flavors that are in there. I agree. I didn't smell it in the aroma, no. and I don't taste the alcohol. This will knock you out if you're not careful. It is potent, but it's just so rich and flavorful. Mmm. Love it. Now you see why I hit the videos down, because all the stuff that you don't normally hear in videos. Trust me, if I posted every full-length video, it'd be about 25 minutes on average. We get a little bit more here. We'll wrap it up. Need some more. Yeah, like you're going to say no to that one. Yeah, hold on here. Okay. Oop, careful, don't spill it. Okay, let's do this. Good enough. There you go. All right. My oh. mouth is still coating. Oh, it's beautiful. They have such pl and a pleasant aftertaste. No bitterness at all. Just those warm feelings, the flavors of the dark fruits. I say clove and nuts. I don't get that. She might. Could be there. I don't get the vanilla, but I get those dark fruits. They are very present without being punched in the face, but they're there. They're so nice. This is definitely sitting in front of a fireplace. Top of, top of I beer. could see that. Mm -hmm. I could see a late night, winter night, like it is now, raining, snowing, just you know, relaxing by the fire with a book or just someone talking to and just sipping this beer. It is that good. Oh boy. It's a cozy beer. Beautiful beer. Okay, well, let's wrap this up here. Excellent Belgian style quad. Well, I shouldn't say style because it's brewed in a trapper, so it's a Belgian beer, even though it's not really made in Belgium. Okay. A definite Le rebuy. La Trap, I guess? Trappist Belgian Quad Dark Ale. There's a bottle. It's a cork and caged. I don't even know we took it off already. So nice. All Again, right. another cork and caged. I have not been disappointed with. Mm, no, this is great. This is 10 out of 10. <laughs> all right, well, that's all for this review. We're yes. going to finish this off. And Happy New Year to everybody. Happy 2019. We hope that it's prosperous and a life changing year. It's a great year for you. We're looking forward to it. More beer reviews. Live long and prosper. Cheers. Cheers.